Colin? Uncle Colin! Wake up! Uncle won't wake up. Looks like he's having that nightmare again. Colin, are you alright? I've been trying to wake you up for so long. Alice, I had that nightmare again. Some woman is calling me. She needs my help. Her face seems familiar, but my mind's hazy. Alice, I didn't mention it earlier, but I recall almost nothing from my past. When you were a little baby, I was one of those unlucky people who were captured by the darkness. The people in Clifftown brought me back to life, but I don't recall anything prior to that time. Look, we need to leave the Forbidden City. But you said that darkness wouldn't come here, and we'd be safe. We can't be safe anywhere, and I'm worried that the Sacuums will learn about your bird of fire. And then, most likely, they'd take you away to do some research. I need to remember my past. In the desert, near the southern oasis, lives a hermit. He's a healer, and he preserves the ancient wisdom. Let's go see him. What if the hermit can help me remember? I lived a simple life with my father on our farm. One day I found a strange little box holding an egg in the river. A bird of fire hatched from it and flew into my body, leaving a burn mark on my arm. I told my father right away, and he said that nothing good would come out of this. Alas, he was right. Soon after the event, some unfamiliar soldiers came after me. Father managed to save me, but he paid for it with his life. I was forced to leave my home and go to my only kin. Colin, my uncle on my mother's side. I had no idea he existed until this tragedy befell me. Colin and I left the B.O. Glen Valley. On our way, we came across a dark knight who summoned darkness to kill me. All of a sudden, a strange thing happened. The bird of fire swooshed out of the image on my arm and saved us. We managed to hide in the cliff town where the Sakiums live. Still, the darkness kept approaching. One of its castles was situated on the border of the Fertile Lands, threatening all living beings. Yet again, Owing to the bird of fire and the unique nature of its flames, we managed to destroy the castle. We've won another battle, but the darkness has not been beaten. Now I am certain it has been pursuing me because of the bird of fire in my arm. As long as we know so little about its flames, we must remain extremely careful. Welcome, strangers. Maybe you could tell me what's going on here? When we came in, you were lying here unconscious. We noticed the scorpion sting and rushed to complete the antidote you started to make. My name is Steve, by the way. What brings you here? I'm Colin, and this is Alice, my niece. We were told you know some ancient wisdom and are a healer. Is that true? Maybe you can help us. What can I do for you? Long ago, I was struck by the darkness. Luckily, I survived. But after my recovery, I remembered almost nothing. I was hoping you could bring back my memory. Maybe the ancients knew some tricks? Well, I'll be frank. I can't help you, Colin. Darkness and its consequences aren't like a disease. It's completely different. Ancient medicine will be of no use. But I heard of a certain stone in the temple in the Eternal Ice, not far from Bear Mountain. Just touching the stone is enough for a man to be healed of any ailment or spell. I've never visited those places, but I suggest you go there and take a chance. Well then, Steve, thank you. Get better soon. Off we go, Alice. How about you drive, Alice? I'll teach you how. It's quite simple, actually.
Alice, are you all right? Hurry, let's hide in these mountains. The darkness might return. Good day. I'm Nort. Please excuse Gray's behavior. He hardly ever meets new people. What brings you to these harsh lands? Good day to you, Nort. I'm Colin. We're looking for the road to the Ice Temple. Yeah, you're on the right trail. Go on up the path beyond this destroyed bridge. Thank you. Do you know if anyone is living in the temple, or is it abandoned? Hmm. I've rarely visited the place, to be honest, especially recently. It's eerie in that place. The temple was abandoned long ago, and I don't think anyone but me has been there for a long time. I see your traveling light. Not too many things, and you're not dressed for the weather. Why don't you come inside and get warm? Thank you, Nort, but we better be on our way. As you wish, but at least take this flint to make fire. Matches aren't of much use in these conditions. Good luck! What an amazing chamber! It would have hid its secrets for a long time if it wasn't for my bird of fire. If the magic stone really exists, I bet it would be kept right here. One day, a huge rock fell from the skies on the desert lands infected by the darkness. After that event, everyone was surprised to see the land return to life. For the first time in decades, we could admire green sprouts emerging into the sunlight. Luckily, the Sacums were the first to find the stone, and they hid it away from the darkness. But the darkness has been trying to find it ever since. Melanie, take Alice and call the rest. Board the ships and sail away as far as you can. I must hide the Stone of Fire. Under no circumstances can it fall into the hands of the Dark Knight. I think I recall the event which gave us the faith to survive here in the desert lands. When the rock fell in the desert of death, new life started to appear here. Also, 
I remember a woman who tried to prevent a shard of that rock from falling into evil hands. But she failed, didn't she? No, she didn't. She threw it into the waters. But in the end, she was imprisoned. I saw a lonely island with a two-headed mountain right in its center. Maybe she's there. She's been calling me by name for some reason, asking me for help. What do you make of this, Alice? We need to find her and figure out what's going on. I agree, but where's that island? Let's go back to Nort. He helped us find our way once before, so he might know where the island is. You again? <laughs> did you find the temple? Yes, we did. It would have taken us ages if not for your help. Now we need your help yet again. We're searching for a remote island with a two-headed mountain. It can easily be seen from the shore, that's all I can say. Ah, I know the island you speak of, but it's so far away. Although, hmm, look, there's an abandoned mine here in front of you. In the past, fishermen used to ship their catch over the railroad tracks laid there. They told me of a strange island which could be seen from their village on the shore. Oh, that's great news. How do we get there? Take this key to the mine. I hope you succeed this time as well. There it is! The isolated island! How can we get there? We're on the island at last. Now, where might the dungeon be? Colin, look. Guards, they look just like the soldiers who killed my father. Shh, quiet. Go back. We must find a way to distract them. I can't believe my eyes. I'm Hallenvere. And who are you? It's been a long time since anyone visited me. My name's Alice, and this is my uncle. We're looking for a way to neutralize the guards at the dungeon, the one on the top of the island. That's interesting. I'd gladly help you, but for quite some time now, I can't get into my house. Some sort of strange power has settled in there, if you could imagine that. What if we go and check? With all due respect, the two of us have a better chance of success. My niece possesses a far greater power than it may seem at first sight. That's very kind of you. Take this map. I spent a long time working on a secret passage to my hut. Can you believe it? The darkness took over your hut. Luckily it appeared there only recently and needed more time to gather its strength. So we were able to defeat it. These dark forces have subdued many unfortunate people. Just like those guards up there. Oh! You say that the guards are controlled by the darkness. Why are they guarding that dungeon? They're guarding a woman, and Alice and I need to rescue her. The problem is those guards are armed. <laughs> That's nothing. I was working on an instant sleeping potion when that black cloud stopped me from getting into my house. That sleeping potion and a pipe will help to neutralize those guards. Here, take this key. You can finish it without me. There are only a few steps left. Just follow the recipe book.
Look, Alice, this woman has barely any life force left in her. I know this condition. She must have been infected by the darkness, just like I used to be long ago. How can we help her? Well, ever since the Sacuums cured me, my blood has contained special antibodies. So we have a good chance of saving this woman. We can transfer some of my blood to her, but we'd need the right setup for that. I know. We should go back to see Steve. It's true that he couldn't handle the Dark Forces, but he surely possesses the medical skills we need. And who do we have here? It's us, Colin and Alice, and we need Steve's help. It's an emergency. Ah, you're the two who saved him. Well, I'm Kiara. I live in a desert village nearby. Steve is my good friend. We must see him, Kiara. We need his help badly. Well, he's not at home, as you can see. He's at the Ancients Hospital now. What place is that, and how can we find it? Oh, the building has been miraculously well-preserved. It's right beyond this sand labyrinth. You know, I can give you a map so you don't get lost. Hi there, Steve. Alice, Colin, who's there with you? A woman we rescued from captivity, but she's been struck by the darkness and is very weak. Steve, you know what my uncle came up with? The darkness was banished from his consciousness, but his blood stores memories of it. Maybe he even has antibodies capable of helping the body to resist the darkness. So we thought, what if we transferred some of Colin's blood to this woman? It may give her the strength to fight it. Hmm, an interesting thought. I'm glad that you found me here. Look, behind me is the Ancients Hospital. All the tools needed can be found there, and we'll carry out your plan. The only thing is that the hospital is under an impenetrable dome. That is why it has been preserved so well. So, how do we get inside? There's a special powder. If you sprinkle the dome with it, the magic will grow weaker for a time, and we can get inside. like she's come back to her senses. Excellent. Everything worked out. Just like you thought, Colin. I can't believe my eyes. Colin? My brother. You managed to find me. I despaired. I thought I'd never come out of that dungeon on top of the island alive. This can't be true. Mirth? My memories of you seemed erased. All that time, my treacherous memory hid from me that you, my sister, were asking me for help. Meet Alice, your niece. The one our sister Melanie took away to escape the Dark Knight. You've grown up into such a beauty, Alice. But listen, I must tell you something very important. Since I was held captive by the darkness recently, I'm aware of its plans. A great danger is threatening the Sackums. The darkness knows the location of the city, and it plans to capture all the Sackums in the next couple of days. We must warn them. Well, let's not waste any more time. We need to go now. But, Mirth, what about you? I'll stay with Mirth and help her regain her strength. Hurry, you must reach them in time. Good day. I'm Farador. I've heard of you guys. Nice to meet you. We came to let you know of the threat hanging over the city, but we see the town is empty. Luckily, the Sacuums learned of the approaching army. A few hours ago, everyone left in a panic, but I came up with an idea. Look, we're here. 
right in the center of the Forbidden City. From the north, an army of darkness is approaching. Our scouts reported at least 5,000 men. They're all well equipped and led by the Dark Knight himself. Even if the whole Beoglin Valley stood against them, we wouldn't pose a threat to this army. Here's what I came up with. Look, here in the southern part of the town, there's a dam. It holds thousands of tons of water, which will rush out to the north if the dam is broken. So if we blow it up, the whole canyon will be flooded and the whole army of darkness along with it. What do you say, hmm? The question is, will you help me? If so, we need to set off to the most distant part of the town, to the dam. Well, our whole lives have been a change of dangerous events recently. We're ready to do this, right, Uncle? Yes, the Forbidden City will suffer greatly, but this is the price for becoming free. Look, that's the dam I mentioned. To the right is the mine where I saw a lot of explosives. Look, this is the weakest spot. We'll place the bomb right here. <laughs> 